Hey everyone, welcome to another Cocktail Fridays. This week we continue the Tiki Tour as we finally arrive in one of the headquarters of Tiki Temples, San Francisco. And appropriately so, we're going to take a crack at one of the oldest, most famous, and strongest Tiki drinks, the 1934 Zombie. So in the previous episode, we hit an amazing round of cocktail bars in Portland, Oregon. But this week, we continue the tour down into California and to the epicenter of Tiki Polynesian pop culture, San Francisco, which houses one of the oldest, most famous, and most unbelievable historic Tiki lounges of all time. Here we are, after years. Tonga. Yes. Yes. Brilliant. Tonga Room. Dating all the way back to 1945 in the historic Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco is a virtual graceland for tiki aficionados. In addition to being a full-service restaurant, the amazingly spacious, beautifully decorated interior also features frequent indoor rain showers, as well as a swimming pool with a boat that acts as center stage for live music on a regular basis. I will remember this moment forever. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Next up was a brand new tiki bar that was literally in its soft opening at the time, Pagan Idol. This place was super impressive, featuring multiple rooms, each with its own theme, a menu that featured house-made modifications of classic recipes, and, in the spirit of places like the Tonga Room, a volcano show that would erupt every so often in the backmost area jungle room, complete with star-filled ceiling. And finally, we visited another tiki bar that has since become one of the world headquarters of tiki culture, Smuggler's Cove. Created by one of the modern godfathers of tiki, Martin Kate, this three-story rum bar offers up an incredibly impressive menu of AAA quality cocktails both new and old, served up with expertise and flair. It was truly an experience to finally visit this must-see world-class bar. Honestly, it was hard to choose a single cocktail to feature this week in an episode that has so many top tier bars. It's like when Wizard of Oz went up against Gone with the Wind for the Oscar. But to pay respect to the history of the polypop culture of the city, gonna have to go with Tonga Room's 1934 zombie cocktail recipe. Now, the history of this tiki cocktail could be an episode all in itself, as it's one of the most reinvented recipes ever, with the original, of course, coming from Don the Beachcombers. It's also one of the strongest recipes, with most establishments limiting two per customer. And rightly so, as it features three rums per no, and having come from Don the Beachcombers, features one of those mysterious Don's mixes like we talked about back in the Nui Nui episode. So let's tackle that secret sauce first. It's just going to combine two parts grapefruit juice to one part cinnamon infused sugar syrup. And just as a reminder, you can make cinnamon infused sugar syrup by just combining one cup water one cup sugar, and three sticks of cinnamon to simmer in a pot for about two minutes and then let it cool for about two hours or so. So with all that ready to go, the full recipe is going to be three quarter ounce lime juice, a half ounce of Don's mix, a half ounce of falernum, one and a half ounces of gold Puerto Rican rum, one and a half ounces of gold Jamaican rum or dark Jamaican rum, one ounce of 151 proof Demerara rum, one dash Angostura bitters, six drops of Pernod, and one teaspoon of grenadine. Holy shit, that is one complex cocktail. You can see why it's famous for knocking people out. So let's get started on making that monster. Start with three quarter ounce lime juice, half ounce Don's mix, half ounce of falernum, using velvet falernum, one and a half ounce gold Puerto Rican rum. In this case, we're gonna be using Bacardi. Don't judge me. One and a half ounces of gold Jamaican rum or dark Jamaican rum. In this case, I'm choosing to use gold Jamaican rum, Dr. Bird, simply because it has an extra funky flavor and I kind of want to add that to the nose. That's funky. Don't worry guys, just about 7,000 more ingredients to go. One ounce of 151 proof Demerara rum. This time we're using the real deal, Lemon Heart Demerara rum. This stuff will kill you. Dash of Angostura bitters. Six drops of Pernod. This stuff will also kill you. Finally, a teaspoon of grenadine. All right, it's shaking time. We're gonna put in a couple ice cubes just to shake up the drink, froth up the juice. 
and uh, chill the drink as we shake it. It also just sounds cool. All right. So we're gonna strain this into a Collins glass. In this case, I'm actually using the Tonga Hut zombie glass. All right. Let's strain that in. Awesome. That is the appropriate color. Ooh. Stick a straw in to garnish. I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit more crushed ice. Some pineapple leaves in the back. And there we go. The 1934 zombie. Let's take a sip. Wow, whoa, that is incredibly strong. Buyer beware. Easily one of the most classic tiki cocktails in history with an incredibly complex flavor that's monstrously strong. Try to limit yourself if you can. So that's it for this week. Now, as you can imagine, after three epic cocktail bars, there simply wasn't enough time to tackle all of the great tiki temples in San Francisco in one day. So join us next episode where we continue the tour across the bridge into the East Bay where we finish out the NorCal Tiki experience. Until then, cheers. One and a half ounces of gold Jamaican rum, or dark Jamaican rum. But f that, we're gonna use gold Jamaican rum, god damn it. Finally, we visited another bar that has sinks, sinks become, it has a sink. Okay. Zombie, huh? Let's see what happens when I... Zombie, zombie. Hey look, I put down a little uh, bar catcher thing here and I got water everywhere except for that. I am clearly not a bartender. So